My mom is so precious to me, and I still love her a ton. But you're not her! And I'll never live a life where everything gets decided by someone else! Don't be children who can fly their parents, but be punished! <laughs> Yourself. Take this! Possible. 
No! With them, even the impossible can be made possible! Futaba! Yeah! 
Sam, you're freaking incredible! Whoa, what in the world? Ooh, it's totally skin tight! Another thing showed up? Mom? Huh? Futaba. Thank you for choosing to remember the real me. I'm sorry for being so selfish, Mom. Don't come over here. This isn't where you're supposed to be, is it? But I finally got to see you again. Are you being selfish again? Um, I... I love you, Mom. I love you too, Futaba. Now, you should get going. <sighs> oh, right. Majed. Where are you going? Home. I know how to use the nav now. Huh. Oh, right. She left. That girl marches to the beat of her own drum, doesn't she? Like you're one to talk. But if we have her on our side... Wait, what about her treasure? Oh yeah, we almost forgot. It's empty? <laughs> What's going on? Wasn't it supposed to be here? Futaba herself was the treasure. And she's gone, so of course it's empty. Shoot. This is bad. What's the matter? Not only did the real person come into her own palace, she awakened to a persona while she was here. This place could collapse any second now. We've accomplished our mission if her palace is crumbling. We should hurry back to reality. That would be wise. still alive? I thought I was gonna die and... Uh, hey! Will you let go already? <laughs> <gasps> Sorry! Not again. What was that sound? Hmm? What, what are you guys doing out here? Oh, um... That reminds me, where's Futaba? What about Futaba? Oh, um... Yes! We came all this way, so how about we enjoy some coffee? Oh, that's a great idea! That's fine, but... I'm not thirsty, though. <clears throat> oh, I almost forgot. I have some business to take care of, so you guys go on ahead. Uh, okay, gotcha. Let's go see Futaba. Futaba? Can you hear me? Please say something! Please! Could this be our fault? Is it because we defeated her monstrous mother? No. That was nothing more than a cognitive being created in her mind. Destroying it wouldn't cause memory loss or put a physical burden on her. What should we do? Hey, don't you know a doctor? You do. Can you contact them? A house call is gonna cost you, you know. 
How much will it be? That was a joke. So, um, how is her condition? Her pulse, breathing, temperature, and blood pressure are all normal. No ocular abnormalities either. I'm not sure why, but it seems this girl is in some kind of light stupor. Furthermore, she lacks muscle for her age. I doubt she has much stamina either. I see. The rebound from her awakening was too strong. There may have been too many abnormal circumstances. We simply cannot keep quiet about this. We should let Boss know. Wouldn't he figure out our identities? Still, we should tell him, shouldn't we? Mm. I think that would be best. Letting him know is really the only option we have. I guess it can't be helped now. Just keep the circumstances that led up to this a secret, okay? Hey, Futaba? Hey! <sighs> oh dear. Uh, um... About Futaba... Hmm? Well, why do you guys look so down? Futaba-chan's condition. What, this? It happens every so often. Huh? She must have used up all her energy. It's like she ran out of batteries. I think it happens because she doesn't get enough exercise. What? She stays like this for a few days whenever this happens. I'll make sure she gets plenty of rest. Here, keep an eye on her. I'm gonna go close the store. It's hard to describe how I feel right now. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty frustrated. I'm glad she's okay, but what are we gonna do about Medjed? Uh, she's up! Mm, Medjed... Mm, uh, tired. Gonna sleep for a bit. She fell asleep again?! Futaba-chan! For a bit? How much is she planning on sleeping? We probably shouldn't wake her up, either. What to do? It's too late for us to find another hacker. All we can do is wait for her to wake up. Mm -hmm. 